What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we'll be talking about the controversial rejack ability in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. It's a specialist ability for the Nomad character specialist that allows you to come back to life. I'm sure a ton of you guys know that and have experienced this yourself in the Black Ops 3 beta. So I want to know your thoughts about rejack in the comment section. Leave a comment down below if you think rejack is overpowered or broken and how you would fix it to make it more balanced or if you think it's fine and it isn't actually a big deal. Leave those comments down below. I'll be really interested to read those and see what you guys think. I always read all of my comments. So uh, I doubt they'll change it or make it do something else. To be honest, a lot of people are suggesting they simply just remove it and make Nomad do something else's ability. They've set out to have Nomad have this ability. And I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. But they have done some changes to it to make it a little bit less annoying, a little bit more fair, and a little bit less overpowered like it used to be in the start of the Black Ops 3 beta. And uh, it used to keep your score streak progress. So you could be on a score streak, you could die, and if you manage to reject successfully, you'll still have your score streak progress. And it no longer does that. I don't think you can continue your nuclear streaks either but i'm not 100 sure about those medals but i know it doesn't continue your score streak count anymore and von der Haar actually said that was a bug and it wasn't supposed to continue your score streak count that wasn't intended but that's now been fixed and it no longer does that it also takes three minutes to earn by itself with no extra score instead of two minutes like it used to be so it made it hard to earn and on top of that they made the animation a little bit slower by half a second so your gun is a little bit slower to get ready and those are two things that they made to make it a little bit less overpowered in addition to that bug fix of it continual score of course now there are two things that stick out to me personally as making it kind of overpowered and making it a little bit annoying to go against and these are firstly the fact that you can trade kill so you can actually kill someone if you're going down into rejack so as you're falling down into rejack if you shoot somehow your bullets can still come out and you can actually kill the guy who's essentially killing you so it's a very weird kind of way how it works and you can actually get a trade kill which isn't really supposed to happen in call of duty games it's always either you get the kill or they get the kill or one of you is going to die in a gunfight but with rejack sometimes you can actually do a trade kill and i've noticed a few times it's happened on me where i've gone down to rejack and somehow my bullets keep on going even though I'm falling into the rejack animation and it lets me kill the guy. It's a really weird thing and obviously that's not supposed to happen. And then you can rejack in safety and you've got no threat at all. So it's definitely, definitely very overpowered and I definitely felt very cheap when that happened to me. I felt kind of bad for the guy because he definitely got the kill. He earned it and then I managed to kill him through some sort of glitch. So I think that definitely needs to be fixed. I'm confident that it will be fixed because it sounds like something that isn't supposed to happen. And I'm pretty sure Triad do not want that to be happening with the rejack ability. Doesn't sound very skillful at all. And something else is very weird, which was probably the first thing I ever noticed about rejack that was very, very strong about it. And that's that you actually get your full new magazine and it reloads your weapon for you. I think that kind of takes away the skill element of using rejack and like last stand and final stand. That whole kind of mentality. If you're in a gunfight, you should have to keep track of how many bullets you fired. And then you can think about if you have enough in the mag to be able to rejack and take out the guy. But currently, you can just come back with like 30 rounds in the mag and no worries at all. And you can just literally hose the guy down with infinite ammo pretty much. And it's definitely enough to take out one person. So that's definitely something that sticked out to me. Literally the first time I ever used it, I was like, wow, you can actually keep your entire magazine. That is really, really unbalanced. But I think that probably will get changed because like I've said, if you've emptied already like half or the majority of a mag, it should be a punishment that you only got that amount of bullets in your magazine. It isn't really realistic either that you just come back with a fresh magazine. So hopefully that will get addressed soon. Now on the other hand, there are some features about Rejack that make it kind of underpowered and it isn't all it's hyped up to be. It really isn't that lethal in terms of the other specialists. And statistically, I've said before that Vondar did say that it's very statistically underpowered and technically it's actually a really bad ability to use because all the others, you get this like golden gun or a cross crossbow or a tempest you can electrocute people you can just destroy entire teams in no time and they're very very lethal they're also very frustrating to get killed by these things in one hit whereas reject is more of a passive thing that lets you maybe evade one gunfight and escape into safety or possibly even take out the guy who killed you so for that reason i'm definitely confident the truck won't do massive changes to reject i think they're going to keep it relatively the same what it is simply because of that mentality and what they said about how statistically it isn't actually that overpowered and of course there is a learning curve to it as well i think that the more people play black ops 3 the more that rejack is going to get worse and worse like at the start of the game when no one knows what it was it was very very powerful and i noticed myself using it and other people using it hardly many people would use that much and when they did obviously i know exactly what it was but a lot of people had no idea they'd kill me and then run off they didn't know what the green smoke was they thought it was possibly a smoke grenade so they'd just run off and they had no idea that i was about to rejack and come back alive so i think it's definitely a learning curve like in black ops 3 after say a month of the game being out and everyone playing it literally everyone is going to know what rejack is and the second they see green smoke or even rejack they're going to know that that guy might possibly come alive and they're going to be watching the body they know where to shoot they know how to shoot it so i think it's definitely a learning curve thing it was obviously the beta a lot of people knew to the game 
didn't know what it was, so it's frustrating. But I think as the game comes out and progresses longer, a lot of people are going to understand what it is. And it's really not going to be that good to go against because a lot of people are going to know exactly how to kill you. And it's probably quite frustrating to come against. So I think Rejack is going to get worse and worse as the game gets older and as more people get better as the game. But those are some of my thoughts about the Rejack ability. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section if you agree or disagree with some of the things that I said. Drop a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.